We're White House NCOs, White House sentries, and our main post is staying outside of the West Wing lobby to represent the President whenever he's in the West Wing working. There's four of us here. We work 30 minute shifts, 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. Whenever the president gets in, we post as soon as he's in the Oval Office, or as soon as he's in the West Wing, we'll post, and we'll be here till the president's done for the day. My name is Corporal James Applewhite. I've been at the White House for just a couple months now. I'm the rookie, that's correct. The way it works is basically whenever the president's in the West Wing, we're going to be on the post. And we'll open the door for when people come in and when people leave. And obviously you don't have eyes in the back of your head. So when people leave, the Secret Service officer, they'll be sitting here and one buzzer represents a person coming out. You hear that? Mm -hmm. One buzz. If the president leaves the West Wing for anything, we'll come inside and stand by inside for, you know, however long. And there's going to be three buzzes. It's just three buzzes. Open it, just come on. No big deal. The White House post is one of those posts they tell you about, but no one ever expects to come here. Um, it's very selective. There's only four Marines in the entire Marine Corps that get to do it. So I was, I was pretty lucky to get the position. My first morning in the White House, it, it was kind of like a dream. You know, you, you walk in, the Secret Service lets you through. You, you feel like a VIP. A little nervous, but more just an overwhelming sense of curiosity of everything around me. I mean, there's, there's so much history jam-packed into this small area that it just overwhelms you. Left face. We're both facing this way. It's almost you want to pinch yourself when you're walking in through the Rose Garden and you see the president sitting at his desk working and you see people you see every single day on news and you're opening the door for them all of a sudden within a foot away from them. Almost surreal and it's still pretty neat coming in work, pinching yourself sometimes. Um, right over here, we usually have you know, half a dozen cameras set up over there and they're filming constantly. So that's good motivation to not stay still, up. not twitch. Basically, I got here and they said, you know, there's no talking, no smiling, no laughing on post, so <laughs> that's all there is to it. So if you get an inch on the nose, uh, you know, just suck it up. It's, it's hard sometimes, but if any Marine went to Paris Island, they, they can learn not to scratch for a few minutes, so it's okay. Two Christmas ago, Bias was out here. And during Christmas time, they set up two huge Christmas trees out here. And it was blowing around, this Christmas tree fell over. And Bias had good composure, good bearing, it didn't move at all. It's on YouTube somewhere. So you never know where your face is going to end up on TV. So it's good motivation to uh, you know, represent yourself well, represent the Marine Corps, and, and represent the President. My friends give me a little bit of grief for being a doorman over here, but I tell them at least I'm the President's doorman. I got the best doorman credentials in the world. I can go work at Waldorf after this, I guess, if I wanted to. What I tell them is, okay, how many times a day do you get to see the Vice President or the President of the United States or any of the dignitaries? It's, it's just a really honorable position to be in.